guys, Jeff Chalmers here from discoverdoublebase.com, which is the home of online video double bass lessons and courses. There's something for anyone who wants to improve their bass playing, get started with the instrument, or maybe you know, you're a more advanced player looking for a new direction, please go and check out uh, the website when you get some time. And today I'm joined by one of the faculty who has filmed an amazing course and series of lessons on jazz bowing. It's Olivier Babaz. So welcome, Olivier. It's great to have you. Hi, Joe. Thanks. Well, we filmed the jazz bowing course last year, and it's been really popular with the audience, but we've had a few questions uh, that I've like, and now we have the opportunity to follow up with you. I thought I'd like to put them to you directly. Um, the most, one of the most common questions was about using the bow on a jazz gig. So you're a jazz bass player, you've been playing for you know, however many courses and it's your turn to take the solo. And those first few notes can be really terrifying. This switching to arco, everybody's playing quite quietly perhaps, and uh, you know, the bow can be a lot louder than playing pizzicato, and sometimes you can get all sorts of screeches and scratches uh, that put you off from getting started. So maybe you could talk about the transition from pizzicato to arco in a jazz context. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very touchy moment uh, <laughs> when you have decided to take your bow. Terrifying. <laughs> everybody has seen that you have the bow in hand, so everybody's like, okay, what's going on now? Uh, basically, um, a few advice for me that I found work quite well is to uh, take your time don't play from the first note uh, play in the low register really really basic stuff so just playing a root so playing in the lower register yes playing in the lower uh, lower register is generally uh, decreasing the gap between pids and, and arco playing first thing mm. and uh, as well it maintains you in the same role that you had you were playing roots and you were playing uh, bassy stuff. So instead of starting with very high uh, energetic uh, playing, you can just start slow and low. If I maybe do uh, the, the last few bars of a blues and leading to the, to the beginning of the, of the same blues and imagining that I'm starting a, and that I'm starting a, 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 a solo with the bow, uh, we may do a... <coughs> That's really starting from really basic stuff is really efficient. And, and do you have any tips for people who are struggling to get the notes started? That for me feels like it's the most common problem at this point. Yes, to have a, a clear attack uh, right yeah. from there. Well, uh, you can see it from the other uh, side. You don't need to have a, a, a really strong attack right from the beginning. You can get into your bow at playing uh, in a more uh, uh, delicate and subtle fashion uh, a really great great way I found to do that to do that and we actually talked about it in the course is to is to use more of a, a brushed feel from the right from the beginning of your solo and it has two really cool it does two really cool things first it ha it adds a nice sound and of course you play it in rhythm and secondly it brings uh, it, 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 it brings you into the same rhythmic things you're going to play so if I do the same thing, so I'm going from the end of a, of a blues. My, my ground is laid for more bowing, but using that kind of rhythmic brushing is, is really useful to me. It, it really gets your attention, or gets the attention of the audience when somebody just drops right down, you know, to the very basics. I can remember there's a great recording of uh, Chaka Pastorius playing uh, Invitation, and I 
I think he plays something like one note or no notes for the first two A sections. Okay. It's, it's, it's a really, really long time. Yes. And he comes in in the bridge and it's so captivating because you've got this tension of all the percussion happening underneath and everyone's waiting for those first notes. And it's just, and then you get to build the story and take it somewhere. So yeah, I really loved uh, hearing you play Olivia. And I think we should finish on this on a performance from Olivier. So I've got a great one that we filmed earlier on. I think if you're okay with that, let's cut to that now and then people can hear how all this sounds in context. So thanks for joining me, Olivier. Thanks for watching at home. And I hope that you enjoy this performance by Olivier Babaz. <laughs> 